What's up YouTube? Another beautiful day today. Got a new project. We're gonna be putting a radiator in this thing right here. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, so right here we have a 2005 Chevy Impala. It kind of looks like crap in here, but the only thing we're doing is replacing the radiator. First thing we're going to do to start is we're going to take off the engine supports connected to the uh, radiator, um, the core support, radiator support, upper support, whatever you want to call it. We're going to take these off. And we're going to take off this bracket here. And then we're going to start draining the system. There should be a drain down there somewhere. If not, I'll probably just pull the little radiator hose. That should be that guy there. Here. And just drain the system that way. But after that, I'll pull off this radiator hose. Uh, unplug the fans. And right here there's a bolt right here another one here right there and another one right over here pull those bolts out and it should just slide right out Okay, so so far, I took out the airbox. The airbox is right here. Um, the computer is inside the back of the airbox. Uh, so it's just so I didn't have to deal with all the cables and everything, I disconnected the computer. Before I did that, though, I unhooked the battery, negative terminal. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to disconnect this wire bundle here from the fan shroud and then this is your one of your AC lines it's going to disconnect the bracket from it right there and let's see this side I have to disconnect the transmission line right here and there should be another one down there at the bottom underneath the uh, lower radiator hose so you do, do these two lines here and the, uh, the uh, connectors or the brackets over there and I should be close to having it out. Alright, for some reason my camera stopped recording. 
So I'll just uh, give you a quick rundown of what I did. Um, got the radiator out. The transmission cooler lines, there are some C-clips right here. You just disconnect them from um, the radiator. Let me show you that. So here's the radiator. Just go in right here, pop them out, and the radiator line will just pop out from the hole. There's two of those. And then, um, let's see, to separate the AC condenser from the radiator, you're going to have to push the whole thing forward, pull up on the condenser, so that way these tabs here come out of the tabs on the back of the radiator. Right here. One there, one there, on both sides. All right. So, uh, found the crack. Got a nice big crack right there. This is driver's side top rate of the radiator. So we knew it was, cr it was leaking on this side, just didn't know where. So we'll get started on putting the new one in. So these clips here that are on here, they're actually called E-clips because they're shaped like an E. Um, don't have to pull them out. The new line will just pop right in past them. I'm going, um, I threaded them in just to make sure the threads were clear. And now I'm going to put on some thread tape. I'm going to put some thread tape on them. So we have to make sure we have no leak. This wasn't the right radiator. I had to modify it slightly for it to work. Um, right here. Wait a second, let me fix this. Okay, right here. This uh, mount position was up too high, so I couldn't get this on on there get this little slide on portion on there so I had to break this to get this to sit flush on here so it won't be bolted on from there and on this side as you can see where it's supposed to bolt up is there but the tab is way up here so can't bolt it here either but the slip end piece right here is connected so it's fine it's not going anywhere It'll be bolted up here inside the car, so it shouldn't move anywhere. So that's that so far. Now I'm going to start putting it all back together.
Don't you love it when they put like a lot of extra shit in there that you kind of don't need? Yeah. <laughs> Mom, the baby's outside. And he's in the car right here. Alright. Where'd my bag go? Oh. On the floor. Fuck! What the hell happened? He moved it? Yeah, go put it back. <sighs> to, um, what? Park. To park. <laughs> you gotta hold the brake. Okay. How the hell did you knock it out of park? I don't know if we didn't break the fucking thing. Up or down? Up, all the way. It shows you on there. Right. Ow! And Hit the emergency brake. Is it done still? She doesn't know what the emergency brake is. Jeremiah!
Hang on. I think that's everything. I just got to get another radiator cap. And I got to clean this one. I'm going to clean that one too. So I'll this one too. All right, hit stop. That's square. Yep. All right, so we got some sandpaper here. And where is it? We're cleaning up the hose end there because it was all nasty gross. It's all cleaned up yet? Almost. Just a little more. Just a little bit more? All right. Make sure you get the bottom too. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one off and do that one. So this one's all clean. Just same with the sandpaper a little bit. It's all good. And same with this one here. It's all good. So I'll just reconnect the hoses. We'll put some water in it, put the new radiator cap on, and we're all done. All right, so we just got back from a test drive. Got it up to operating temperature. Um, we got no leaks. And that's pressure going. It's good and hot. We'll take a look here. No leaks going there, no leak here. Cap holding pressure. No leak, no leak. Oh, good. That was a pretty easy job. Radiator's all good. Uh, sounds like we got a bad bearing on the pull one of the pulleys. We'll probably tackle that in another day. But that, that's it for now, guys. We'll check you out later with a new with another project. Peace out for now. <laughs>